out. So, there's something on my bucket list that I really want to do right now. And that is number... Uh, watch an old Superman movie. And one did, in fact, arrive. Because I had to order it first, obviously. It's still in the package. Thank you, Amazon. I'm quite excited, to be honest. Because, like, don't kill me. Don't, don't harass me in the comments for saying this. But, like, recently I've been a lot more into DC than Marvel. When I was younger, I used to be a lot more into Marvel. I used to, like, I still, like, Spider-Man has and will always be my favourite superhero ever. And, like, I used to love, um... Fantastic Four, but like I've been watching like the old Justice League and the new Justice Justice League movie, and uh, I I love Aquaman. Like I hate I hate the fact that like um they the like the original is blonde, pale, blue eyes, and like the fuck is the actor's name? Hold up. Jason Momoa, like literally, they ruined Aquaman just so that like, just for sex appeal, I swear, they ruined Aquaman for sex appeal, so the women could have been like, eh, he's so hot and like, muscular and eh. Anyways. Superman. <laughs> first um because my girlfriend is questioning as well i find that if you put the milk in first and then the hot water it's so much creamier <laughs> the movie the movie where the where um Lex Luthor and the other two were, like banished and they were like in this little frisbee type thing like what whenever Superman was flying that was funny the random poem that 
um, Lois Lane like says makes up in her head that she's fine with Superman for the first time. It was super super long, like one of the longest movies I have ever watched. It was good. I I did like it. I did like it. Um, I got a few questions though. First, like if Superman time traveling and like changing things, changing history on it was um something that his dad said was prohibited and he did travel in time yet nothing happened like he didn't get like in trouble for it so like Lois Lane kind of pissed me off like why does she need a man to keep saving her I mean I know it's like the movies from the 20th century but like bitch also like I swear, like, when Superman was um, in the pool and he had the kryptonite around his neck and he was drowning and I forget what the lady, what the, what the chick was called, the bad one, um, she was like, um, I'll let you go if you promise that you'll save my mother first, but then I swear he didn't, unless I, like, somehow, like, missed that part of the movie but like I swear he didn't save her mum first even though he promised he would. Clark Kent kept annoying me. I didn't mind it when he was Superman but like Clark Kent as a character really annoyed me. Especially like in the alleyway when they were being like mugged. Oh actually no I take it back Lois Lane did stand up for herself in that part um, which was good. Why is okay why are sidekicks always usually like dopey and stupid like Lex Luthor's sidekick I can't remember what his name was but he's like super dopey and stupid and like dumb like why do they always have to be dumb and stupid I think the only sidekick that I know out of like all the superheroes that isn't dumb and stupid and dopey has to be Robin but like I hate Batman like the whole like idea of it and like the movies and like the magazine the magazines the comic books like i just i can't with that man like i don't see him as a real superhero but let's not get into that we don't want superman i thought it was extremely stupid that um superman's parents they were really worried that the planet was going to blow up but then it only ended up blowing up because he sent his son away in the whole, like, the meteor type thing that was coming up through the... Oh my gosh, when the meteor, like, crashed through the ceiling. That really reminded me of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, like, the the original one. The elevator crashes through the ceiling. That really reminded me of that scene. But yeah, the whole, the whole act of, like, getting rid of his son, that is what like exploded the planet so maybe if he hadn't sent his son away anyways nothing would have happened and they would have all had the long happy life so I was a bit confused by that I was also really confused how like even though his dad was dead he was still somehow responding to like Superman back on earth like years and years later like through the projection in my opinion there are quite a few loose ends but apart from that I think it was very good especially for its time period I guess like the effects were pretty good I guess I like Lex Luthor like the character so yeah I guess I can take that one off the list just before I go I got a quick question for you guys if you had if you had only the opportunity to choose between watching only being allowed to watch Marvel for the rest of your life or only being allowed to watch DC for the rest of your life what would you choose and yeah I hope you'll have a wonderful week